What's up guys, it's Hasman12 and welcome to the first episode of my new Sunday League season. So our 2019-20 season doesn't actually officially start till September, but this weekend we had a charity match against the Bourne Blaze team from about five years ago. So effectively this was like a pre-season friendly, just without the prolonged travelling. Didn't quite fancy touring uh, over to Baku. Best players the fence, isn't it? So I started off as the box to box in the 4 3 3 formation, which is something you can't really ever go wrong with, unless of course you're Manchester United. <laughs> and they attempted a very ambitious goal from kickoff, which I think it's fair to say didn't go quite to plan, considering the ball bounced before our box. Then I get my first touch on the ball, trying to spread it out to my brother, but then I forget I'm not at hashtag United Academy anymore. I'm at Sunday League. They will bite at my legs. So that is a cynical foul, but no card, apparently. However, 10 minutes into the first half, I was moved a bit further forward as like a Griezmann second striker in a 4-2-3-1. And you can see here, it almost worked perfectly. Tried to catch the keeper off guard with an early shot, hitting it very, very low. Uh, unfortunately, the keeper was equal to it, and it's actually a pretty good save. Also, I hope you appreciate this GoPro angle. It's a, it's a little upgrade to these Sunday League videos. <laughs> Although for mishit shots that go out for a throw-in, Maybe the GoPro isn't really needed. Oh, in. good shot. Fair as I hit one from that angle in the warm up and struck it beautifully into the corner. I just cut across it a little too much on that scenario. <laughs> so because we're playing the team from five years ago, you might think this is an easy win for us. We should absolutely dominate them. But no, they played at a high level and Joff still had to be a wearing goal, as shown by this outrageous double save. And now being the second striker, the speed of the team's play is very reliant on how quickly I move the ball. So I was really trying to play quick one-touch football and here I try and spread it to Ed, but it's just a little under hit. Ed, who actually had a brilliant game today, lays it off to James and we all think he's gonna power it, but he almost produces one of the best Chips goals this pitch has ever seen. And the deadlock is finally broken as a good bit of team pressing. Nick finds himself an opening and dispatches it beautifully and has no care for the goalkeeper's well being whatsoever. <laughs> Brilliant finish. And that GoPro angle, yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked to have scored that to be honest. <laughs> No. Then I spread the play over to James on the left wing. He cuts inside, delivers a pinpoint cross to Ed, and the defender actually gets there first, but it rebounds, and Ed's there first, and that's 2 0. And I think I really enjoy playing slightly further up. It's, I feel like my, with my anticipation, if I can capitalise on the defender's mistakes a lot higher up the pitch, it's a lot more dangerous. But here, I really did choose the wrong pass. Uh, I opted for Ed instead of James. Yeah, that will come with time playing in a new position. Also, unfortunately, there was a period in the first half where my little brother who was filming, thankfully, I do appreciate it, but somehow he forgot to press record on the camera for like 10 or so minutes. So just for the next couple of clips, you're just gonna have to squint a bit and take my word for what's happening. <laughs> Very effective one-two with Ed on the right-hand side. I managed to get Jamal in on goal. Uh, he takes his time, but he puts it just wide. And here you're really gonna have to squint for this. We win a free kick and I take it as quickly as possible. I grab the ball, put it down, feed it wide out to Ed, and he drives at the opposition, plays it back across to James, and he finishes it very, very nicely. And that's a brilliant team goal. After taking on the defender with the use of my back, I then try and feed in Jamal, our striker, but he seems to be more interested in making himself dizzy than actually running after the ball. <laughs> anyway, the ball stays alive and eventually it finds itself back to me as Ed lays it off. Unfortunately, I don't get the connection I was quite hoping for, although it was still creeping in the corner, so it needed saving. Right, and now we have the main camera back. William has finally found the recording button. An award for the most unnecessary chop turn. <laughs> I think I'll add that award to my other collection of useless trophies. I think I put it next to this trophy, which was being part of the team for eight years. <laughs> really trying to make things happen now as I try and use a bit of pace just to take it away from the defender, but they're actually a lot quicker than I thought. James played a very good ball over the top to Ed, who runs with it, drives, unfortunately hits the post. It's a good strike, but still late on in the first half. They still had their chances to try and get a late goal before half time, so drop. Had to be alert. So now on to the second half, and we decide not to opt for the kickoff attempted goal. Uh, we try the usual pass around the back like Prime Barcelona. Funnily enough, we can see not one, but two goals early on. <laughs> and the cynical fouls are still happening as I'm taken out yet again. Still no card though. Oh, 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 there's nothing in there, oh, you didn't even touch him, he fell over. That's just sent red, top left pocket just up here. And then this was our first shot on target in the second half, and my brother, no matter what he says, that was definitely a cross, although I guess. It was still sneaking in, and now we have a corner, and Jack, can he get his well-anticipated first goal? Of course he doesn't. And then when we look at the second angle on the GoPro, we can see that Jack just had to put it anywhere except at the goalie, and it was going in. I pick up now in the centre of the park, and I play our striker through, and it's clearly such a good ball that the defender decks it on the floor. Anyway, Jamal tries to complete the 1-2 with me, tries to go through the defender's legs, 
Unfortunately, it just doesn't quite work. Then Nick dances his way through about three challenges, does fantastically. Goes for the shot, unfortunately. The crossbar denies him an absolutely incredible goal. That would have been insane. And then the legends put us under a bit of pressure, but we try and pass it around the back. But my brother Jack has other ideas and just launches it out of play. But it's all right, Jack. You got your tape on your arm, so you still look cool. Speaking of Jack here, he gets a stud in the leg, which again, just isn't even a foul, apparently. Like in the Premier League, that could be like a red card. And he thought that was bad. Then this guy called Chelsea, funnily enough, bit of a dirty player, uh, he elbows our left back in the chin. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Come on, it's a man's game. Seriously, where are the cards in this game? <laughs> so after guessing away with elbowing our teammate right in the chin, I thought it was time to put the Marouane Fellaini wannabe in his place. Firstly, taking the ball from his feet, which obviously he wasn't happy about, almost led to a good one to admit could have been a goal. That was close. Then spinning away from his training leg. They then grabbed the third goal before Ed immediately cancelled out with another good finish, and now that's a hat trick for Ed. And Jamal, I don't understand how he hasn't managed to complete this layoff. It's like he still hasn't found his bearings since he was, he's still spinning since the first half. Now I seek an opportunity on the edge of box to be laid off to try and get a goal. And I run forward, shout for Nick for the ball. He lays me off and I hit it perfectly, but it hits the defender's face. I mean, to be fair, that did not sound good. <laughs> and obviously after hitting the defender, we want a corner. And I would say nothing came of this corner, but it almost did. Time! Time! Man on now! Man! Can you imagine if that went in? That is absolutely gussing. I struck that so well, and it was going right in the top left corner, but unfortunately the keeper was already on that side of the goal, so it, was a, it made it a slightly easier save. But even so, you can see when I shot, the keeper still didn't catch it. It still came out of his hand. So, yeah, I mean, out of respect, the keeper, I think, should have just let it in. I'm, start I'm genuinely starting to think that I will never score. Genuinely. I just, it's just not going to happen, is it? And that's actually my last involvement in the game. And to rate my performance, it was sort of, it was a bit of an almost game. Like, if I was just a little bit more clinical in the final bit of the attack, and I could get a couple more goals, a couple of assists. So yeah, it's a bit frustrating. I probably should have scored, I'll admit. Sometimes it just doesn't happen for you. But there was still time for James to bottle a sitter and then Jamal to maintain his 100% aerial dual success rate. And James to complain. Kevin, got that one. 